Many people may not know that the Bilderberg Group, the Illuminati consensus building, backroom deal making, money manipulating meeting of the superclass ruling elite, point zero 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 one percent invisible empire, has actually launched a website just a few years ago in an attempt to try to remove much of the suspicion that clouds and follows the Bilderberg Group around the infamous Illuminati front group founded in 1954 that meets every year, the end of every spring or every early every summer, uh, for a few days in a big expensive hotel. But there's never a mention about it in the press. So here is their website. I will show you. I'll link it up in the description section below. And they have released a partial attendee list. As, like I said, they have a, for a few years now. Only because they've been busted by the alternative media and the, the great late Jim Tucker, who just passed away recently, who spent over 25 years of his life tracking the Bilderberg Group. This is the ruling elite. And you can't tell me that there's not a conspiracy, that there's not an agreement amongst the steering committee of the Bilderberg Group and the uh, heads of all the major media outlets to just simply not cover them. You can't say that it is not an important, interesting, newsworthy event when the rich of the rich, the elite of the elite from all over the world meet, you know, the, the big banksters, the, the elite untouchable politicians, the media moguls, international royalty. Since 1954, this meeting is held, and thankfully Jim Tucker, who, like I said, just passed away, God bless his soul, author of Jim Tucker's Bilderberg Diary, the definitive book on the subject. I recommend everybody get that. It is available, I think, still on Amazon.com. This organization is the ultimate think tank, ultimate policy, consensus building, persuading, private organization. You can't tell me that there's not a conspiracy or an agreement to keep them out of the news. Last year, 2012, in Chantilly, Virginia, myself and several hundred other people surrounded the hotel for four days. And I had sent press releases out, I had made phone calls, I posted on my Facebook page the phone numbers of the local uh, ABC, CBS, etc. affiliates, the national news, tip numbers for Fox News, CNN, everybody. Eh, there just wasn't a mention. I guess, okay, there, there was a brief mention in the Washington, it's the Washington Post or the Washington Times, I forget which one it was, but just, uh, you know, over the last 25 years, especially the last few years when we've really been pressuring the media, to cover the Bilderberg Group, just no, no coverage, just not newsworthy. I mean, right now, if you search Google News for the Bilderberg Group, the only news that comes up is information out of England. Now, they are meeting in England uh, the, the, um, just this weekend, okay? And so England is covering them, oh, and, and RT, sort of Russia Today, formerly known as Ru Russia Today, known as RT. The London Guardian, Charlie Skelton, covers them. And it's not just that these I English papers are covering them because they're in England. The English papers over the last few years have been covering the Bilderberg group. But if you search YouTube for Mark Dice, Sean Hannity, um, you know, Mark, Mark Dice, Alan Combs, Mark Dice, Michael Savage, who, who has finally come around and admitted that the Bilderberg Group uh, runs the White House, runs the country. You'll find these other mainstream media clowns uh, just pretending that they just don't know what it is. They just don't know what it is. Here's an article out of the London Guardian by Charlie Skelton, who's been covering them for the last several years. If you just search for Mark Dice Bilderberger, there's a Bilderberg playlist on my YouTube channel. You can find all sorts of the footage of the just the hundreds and hundreds of people who surrounded the hotel. But the only major media that was there was RT and um, 
a Croatian station and a, a Latino station. That's it. No major American media. No, just not important. Just doesn't exist. Even though I uncovered their tax returns. Search YouTube for that. Maybe I'll make another video about it. But um, their website, again, some people are saying, well, but they're not secret. They have a website. Well, they were forced to sort of reveal a little bit of information because people were so suspicious. People were on to them. They had been caught red-handed. I mean, Jim Tucker has sources in Bilderberg that would tell him what they're talking about, what's coming down in the next few months, the next few years. And every time, every year, Jim Tucker sources what he said they talked about, what they were planning, their consensus building. That's what would happen. Those are the policies that we would then see introduced into the House. We would then see the president move in those directions, no matter who it was. Barack Obama went and met with the Bilderberg Group in 2008 before he was crowned king. They shanghaied the Washington Press Corps. You can find that clip on YouTube. Just search for Robert Gibbs uh, Bilderberg. You'll see that Obama got onto the plane, plane, the press corps, all the press that were, you know, follow him around from event to event, got on the airplane. They follow him on the same plane when he was campaigning before he got onto the Air Force One. He would ride on the same jet with them. He got on, everybody got on, he snuck off the plane, they closed the doors, took off, and then they, everybody said, wait, what happened to Obama? And they confronted Robert Gibbs, his spokesman at the time, his key propagandist, who has since come clean and admitted that he was not supposed to talk about the drone program. He wasn't supposed to even acknowledge that it existed. Anytime anybody mentioned drones, everybody, this is mainstream news now about the drones. I'm not talking back in 2008 before it was headline news. He was just was told to just not even acknowledge drones existed. <laughs> That's a conspiracy theory. <laughs> uh-huh. So go and check Sean Hannity who's the number two talk show host in the country. Millions and millions of listeners. Tens of millions of dollars a year is what he's paid to be a Operation Mockingbird mainstream propagandist and gatekeeper. So I called Sean Hannity a few years ago on his show, time and time again, posted the, uh, the audio of the call, and you can hear him just denying that he even knows what it is. Oh, I don't just, just don't even know what it is. Oh, really? You're supposedly one of the po political experts in the country. Millions of people rely on him for quality, accurate information. A supposed geopolitical genius. And he just, oh, just doesn't know about the Bilderberg Group. Oh, they're just not important. Not important at all. So I'll be covering the Bilderberg Group this week, or you could uh, search the news for it. Infowars has sent a couple reporters over there, and they will be covering it. They always do a great job covering the Bilderberg Conference. This is a picture from last year. Um, just go and read the article. Charlie Skelton's been covering it for many, many years. Not many, many, but a couple years. Want to get some good, accurate information. Like I said, read Jim Tucker's book. I mean, if, you're a, if you think you're a serious researcher, if you're a book reader, you must get Jim Tucker's book. It is fantastic. I was fortunate enough to meet Jim at the 2012 meeting, and I had him sign and autograph my book, and I did videotape his speech that he gave there. You could find that on YouTube as well. There is a playlist on YouTube.com slash Mark Dice for the Bilderberg protests last year. Oh, by the way, I guess I should show the meeting uh, list, the attendee list here. So the website is BilderbergMeetings.org. And that is where they have their little press release explaining that, oh, we're just not secret. It's just a private meeting. It's 120 to 150 of the world's <clears throat> political elite. And if you scroll down participants. And this is always a partial list. This is not the complete list. There are 
people that attend that do not want to be uh, affiliated with the Bilderberg group. Obama was one of them, by the way. I mean, the, the, these guys made Bill Clinton president. These are the king makers. So you could just kind of see some of these names. A lot of them you'll see are familiar. These are the movers and shakers. You know, the Occupy movement, uh, which I don't agree with for obvious reasons. They're socialist, anarchist, communist agendas. They would always throw around the 1%, the evil 1%. Um, but that's actually 70 million people. 1% of the Earth's 7 billion people is 70 million people. So there are not 70 million people out there trying to screw us over. Uh, it's more like the 0.0001%. Or even the 0.0000001%. But it's, it's between, it's around, you know, 1,000 to several thousand people. That makes up the super class. And then the Illuminati. Oh, here. Oh, there we go. Stratfor. Guy, of course, Stratfor, the Illuminati front group that uh, the hacked emails from them uncovered the trap wire facial recognition scanning programs that were in place, that are in place in American cities. That's correct. Uh, casinos have been using it for over 10 years, facial recognition systems. And so the Stratfor company uh, has installed and has been using facial recognition scanning systems on the streets of America in major cities. When WikiLeaks released those hacked emails, they were hit with a distributed denial of service attack. Uh, okay, you got a John Kerr from the House of Lords. Uh, just go through this list and you'll see, I saw, of course, Goldman Sachs, um, vice president, senior advisor to Microsoft. Microsoft donates to them, by the way. Henry Kissinger, of course. General David Petraeus. David Petraeus. Oh, that's interesting. Former CIA head over there. Uh, Army retired general after banging his biographer. Let's see. Anybody else over here? Some prime minister. Mark Root. So there you have it. Um, I'll link up this official website in the, well, they are, of course, the co-chair of the Council on Foreign Relations, who was also a former Secretary of the Treasury in America, Robert Rubin. So you just kind of sift through these names and you'll see these are the .0001%. These are the, the ruling elite, the super class, the invisible empire. These are, the, you got medium people here. There's Henry Kissinger, the Dark Lord. And when they showed up in uh, Chantilly last year, as they do every year, they had darkened limos. And I'm, I'm talking like tint that is illegal to have on your car. They put the tint on at the airport and then drive because these people did not want to be photographed coming to the meetings. So there's plausible deniability. And, you know, the mainstream media just isn't going to come here, isn't going to care. It will be interesting to see how much of the mainstream media covers the Bilderberg Group this year, particularly in America. England's press isn't quite as controlled as America's, so it will be very interesting to see. So there you have it, BilderbergMeetings.org. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Like I said, check my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Mark Dice, D-I-C-E, for the Bilderberg playlist, or just search YouTube for Mark Dice Bilderberg. It should come up. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out the Man on the Street Mondays, the uh, previous Man on the Street Mondays, the future Man on the Street Mondays, where I go out and interview average Americans. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You can check out my books uh, in paperback on Amazon.com, ebook on Kindle, Nook, iBooks, or Google Play. If you want to get yourself off the internet and get, your, get a nice book into your hands, I've done the research for you. Fact checked, cross referenced, debunked a lot of the bull crap surrounding uh, the Illuminati and the New World Order. Because let's face it, there's a lot of misinformation, misunderstanding, frauds, um, a lot of just crazy stuff out there. But when you sift through that all, as I have done for you, 
over the almost decade that I've been researching this, the core is an undeniable, rotten, Illuminati-infested core that is a conspiracy. So thanks for watching. More videos coming soon.